So my hope of this conversation was to uh, guide some people who are maybe using AI tools ineffectively mm-hmm. to be more effective. I guess I guess so my first question I had here was, how do you use these kind of tools? Aren't you so much better than your students anyway? That what extra value yeah. does it give? I mean, I think. Um, well, first of all, I think it's a good idea to always try to constantly improve as yourself, especially as a teacher. So Mm -hmm. that's, I think that's the main, at least when I use it, um, to teach, I think, you know, it's also a good way for me to improve because the bot's so much stronger than me, right? It's like my teacher. (laughs) Mm -hmm. It's like I can consult my teacher to, to help my student type of thing. Um, so there's that. And sorry, what was the other half of the question? I think there's something else I might be missing here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you use it like when you review students' games? And how do you, I guess, avoid it from turning into this move is blue? Yeah, Which, yeah. So, I see some reviews going into nowadays. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think for the most part, um, I'm strong enough that I don't, I don't need to use the bot to give recommendations, and it's still like I give a pretty similar recommendation for the most part. Although there are definitely parts where um, yeah, I'll miss something, although like rather infrequent, I'd say. Um, but I think for the most part, when I review my students' games, I try not to use the bot actually, because um, like one of my students is uh, Eric, and he's like probably like four on AGA or so, mm-hmm. and um, I feel like for the most part, like it doesn't, it's, it's not going to be like essential to recommend like the best moves. <laughs> like, oh yeah, this, this is the best move, like with the highest win rate. Right. I think in general, you just want to, um, most of the time when, when they, they like lose games at that level, it's just, there's like a couple of mistakes in the game that really are costly, like, you know, minus 20 points or minus 30 <laughs> points or minus 10 points where it's like red on my contract and it's like red. Right. And, um, if you if they they tend to like if they can remove like uh remove those or at least try to if not play as many of those in a game then that that will lead to a win and improvement. It's not like pro games where mm-hmm. minus like three or four points is gonna be like just gonna cause you to lose, right? So so this is an example um from I think a game that he played, one of my students played a a few months ago in the um in like a league game. And so I mean for the most part, what I try to do is um, when I tell my students to use like AI and whatnot, mm-hmm. I try to tell them to turn off this top moves thing right here mm-hmm. at the start of the game, right? And then I also tell them to like <laughs> minimize this stuff over here so that for the most part, you can't tell whether um, like h- how behind you are, or how ahead you are, and like what the top moves are. Because I think it's easy to go back and like say like, oh yeah, like at the end of the game, oh, this was this was such a bad move or this was such a good move. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of like hindsight bias in a sense, right? And you don't really want to, you don't really want to have that while you, the first time you go through a game. So I think for the most part, like what I try to do is like, say there's like a move here. So I think green for me indicates like top move, right? Or like pretty good, with, pretty good move. With, and then the, the lighter, the lighter the shade. Yeah, sorry. It's within half point loss. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then, like the lighter the shade of a move, um, like the the worse it gets. Uh, so, like, yeah, I'm sure you know, but like, yellow is not very good, orange is not very good, red is or purple is just terrible. Um, so, I try to have them figure it out on their own because, like, right now, for example, if I like play something like this, right, it'll show up as like that indicator, color indicator. So, so if you really play a bad move and it shows up as like orange, well, let's so let me I can try to find an example of this. <laughs> Actually, yeah, let me just go to the end of this game then. Yeah, so for example, here you can see these are all like purple, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, all these moves in a row are purple. That, that must be some, se- some semi eye going on that both players are like, yeah, missing. that are playing, yeah, not playing well. Yeah, so I mean, for example, here, right, this red move. I would just yeah. say, like, okay, like, let's try to figure out like a better move than this, right? Because when you play, it says red. So, like, obviously, an easy way to do it is you just like turn it on right <laughs> mm-hmm. you turn it on you say okay this is the best move here but is it like really that easy to figure out in the moment right like you, i would tell them to like try messing around with it a bit more like okay if, if this move isn't right like like would it be this maybe as like oh no it's still purple 
Mm-hmm. I tell them to try like try finding a move themselves because it's not so clear cut in a lot of situations what the best move is. Um, well, even though it may seem obvious like later on, where you like oh, like oh yeah, I found it right. Which is I think mm-hmm. the goal here is to say like you know find out where your mistakes are and then try to figure out as if like you know you had a second chance in game mm-hmm. to figure it out again. And then yeah, well I mean this case it's pretty weird because. It's basically just saying, like, yeah, it's game over because Black's already alive here. Mm-hmm. So um, you can just Tanuki and play here because that's the biggest move on the board. <laughs> but I think, yeah, this is a weird scenario. But, but I mean, in most situations, it's it's more clear cut. But yeah, this is how I would tell them to review their games, um, to use them themselves. Because, yeah, part of using AI, I think, instead of like me using it to help review their games or the games we play, um it's also a tool a much better tool i think um for them to use on their own and learn on their own because at the end of the day like i think you know a lot of getting better at go is you know self-improvement and you know taking the time yourself to to look at games and improve with ai Mm -hmm. as opposed to just having the teacher tell you what's wrong so um yeah yeah and then i would say yeah, for the most part, that's how I try to approach, tell them to approach it. So if like, for example, here, this was yellow, right? Which is not that bad. Hmm. I would say like, like, let's see, how how bad is this? One point loss. Yeah, it's like minus, yeah. Uh, for my yeah. contract, it says like it's minus 0.6 of a point, which is really not bad. Hmm. Um, I can tell them like, yeah, so like in this scenario, what are some other moves that you could consider if you're white um, other than this move, right? Because this might not be satisfactory or... You know, they don't like losing points at the beginning game or something. Like I said, I think it's very minor. I don't, like, mm-hmm. even... It kind of depends on the level, right? Reviewing... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Even for me, when I'm reviewing my games, I don't think if I lost, like, less than a point at the beginning, like, I would say for the most part, uh, if there's no, like, big fighting, like, both both sides don't lose many points at the beginning game, like, maybe one or two. Mm-hmm. Um, so, like, I don't think it's a big deal, but it's more of, like, a play style, right? So... Say like what other alternatives do you, would you consider here if if not for this type of pincer, which like I said is not bad. So like yeah, I mean the bot recommends something like this, but honestly at the beginning of the game anything's fine here. Like you could play this. <laughs> Always you can play any of the three threes pretty much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can approach, and I'm sure all of these are pretty similar. Yeah, so this one I guess is a little. Um, it's probably like <laughs> minus 0.5 or something as well. Yeah. Yeah. But it's all of these are fine. So you know I think at the beginning. Yeah, like you said, it depends on the level, but I'd say uh, for him specifically, when, you, when you're around like four Don or so AGA, um, mm-hmm. like for the most part, whatever you play at the beginning, it's not going to change the win rate very much. <laughs> so I agree. All this stuff is fine. Um, and, it's just a and, matter of play style. Yeah. And this is also was one of the, the main ideas behind some of the design in the program. The early versions didn't even have the blue circle, right? Mm-hmm. The, it, they didn't show visits. They didn't show the blue circle. They just were like, "These are some good moves. Pick one, anyone." And people mm-hmm. really, really, really wanted to see that blue circle. Like, which, but which one is the mm-hmm. best? But which one is the computer move? So eventually, mm-hmm. I caved in and added it. But I'm still like, in general, just doesn't matter. You're going to make some red it doesn't moves. Doesn't matter. And, yeah. And, and exactly. Yeah, for the most part, I, I like from my own experience, it seems like um, in the opening, you can pretty much play anything you want, and the game's going to be this like pretty similar and and like win rate and score. So, yeah, yeah I think it's just a matter of play style. I started playing mm-hmm. after the AlphaGo match. Like Michael Redmond was my inspiration. His presentation of nice. of the, the the match to start playing. And at that point, I was still like, okay, this is the Chinese, and you shouldn't play into it. And this is. The Kobayashi it mm-hmm. advised this, mm-hmm. and now it just seems to be like, doesn't matter. You could play right into the worst yep. opening trap, exactly. and you lose half a point. Yep. Yeah. If exactly. you know, if, if you know how to deal with the result. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Like actually, speaking of that, um, like when I was learning Go, like I remember when I was, uh, well, so let's just yeah, let's just set this up, but. There's like a variation where it was like this. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're like, yeah, 
you should never approach high here for some reason. <laughs> and in actuality, like it doesn't matter at all. <laughs> yes. And they're like, yeah, you should always approach either like here or here. But you can never approach like directly high because then you get pincered. And since, oh, if you look, this stone over here in the center, yeah, this one. Um, this one is like, it's a, like, oh yeah, when you run, it's like really bad. But in actuality, it's like totally fine. <laughs> so I just thought that was pretty funny. I was, so, yeah, I definitely uh, understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah I was showing the, uh, something with the, the low Chinese where people like say you jump in mm -hmm. at the, you high approach the three, four in the, in the low Chinese. Uh, yeah. And, uh, oh, <laughs> uh, do you mean like, is this yeah. what you're talking about or this one? Uh, one higher. One higher, yeah. And then why saying just, this or something? Yeah, white approaches that, and then just uh -huh. something and, like and this. That, like even black does the standard attach under, and and white connects and jumps out instead of extending, or, uh -huh. or makes it or makes a small base. Like any of that, just yeah. Fine. Any of this just is fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's also like if you know the follow-up, yeah. if you know how to deal with it, and and Kata mm -hmm. is just crazy at invading in a way that that most players are not. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is fine. I mean, I think if you like connect, it's probably it's it's also okay. <laughs> Even though I would say maybe it's uh like as a human, it'd be difficult, more difficult to deal with something like this because you're kind of mm -hmm. just pincered here. But I'm yes. sure, like I'm sure you could play something like this and it'd be fine. So <laughs> it just uh it's just kind of interesting. Yeah, so I totally agree. Mm -hmm. Have you played with the the teaching mode at all? Um, I have not. I don't know if I have it here. Actually, where would it be? Uh, it's if you do instead of normal game as human, you could teaching game. Oh, you mean like this, right? Uh, say I switch you do, to AI and then play it, and then and then no human, and it's just normal game. At the, at the, oh at the, oh, I did not know that actually. Yeah. I, had to, I didn't know that. <laughs> so that uh, if you make a mistake that's too big, it will undo the move and say try again. Oh, okay, that's very nice, actually. That's that good. That is that was actually the the original, the single original idea that led to this program. Um, oh, okay, yeah, I, I actually did not know that. That's cool. Yeah, I I played against the bot on here, mm -hmm. but I, I didn't know about the uh, the teaching game mode. That seems very nice. I'll I'll, I'll mess around with it. <laughs> It is. It does strange things to your playstyle, though. To know you have a backup, you kind oh, okay. of like. I find myself just going like, "Sure, I'll cut," because the AI will tell me if the cut works. Mm -hmm. It will be so a bad it, move. Can you set the threshold for like what uh, what constitutes like a bad move? Like yeah, rate in, or points in wise? the in the teaching settings in F six. Uh, yeah, right here F six. Yeah. Yeah. So it says. I see. All the colors thresholds can be set. Like if you're a super strong player, you mm -hmm. might want purple to be done. And yeah. then the number number of yeah, undoes yeah. is the teaching game basically. Mm -hmm. So now it says if yeah. you are between like less than one and a half points, don't worry about it. Between one and a mm -hmm. half and three is fifty percent chance randomly of an undo. Yeah. If you make the yeah, kind yeah. of thing. And which is I just added that to stop me from trying to abuse it all the time. Mm-hmm. Because yeah, I no, found myself just, just, just. If you don't sure, you kind of have to go. Well, you still have to read, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, because yes, it, yeah. It, it, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that was the. Uh, I say one of the original. No, that's ideas. good. That's. Uh, I like that. Yeah, it's a good idea. I don't know. I I think one of the like I guess small complaints I have about this is I don't know how to like turn off this uh, little indicator here. Like of whether it's green or yellow or whatever. Ah, uh -huh. you click show dots, and again, yeah, oh, it's, it's, okay, yeah, it's a, it's a checkbox nice. with three states. Yeah, that's uh, a bit unusual. I see, I see. <laughs> yeah, okay, I, I just didn't know about this. Yeah, I, I found it that like it's kind of, yeah, like you said, if if I like play a move and it's, it's like highlights as green, then I don't really, you know, I don't really worry about it. <laughs> Um, and if I'm playing against the bot or something, or like using it to review my games, and I like I look and it's a green move, then I'm like, oh yeah, we're good here. But mm -hmm. I don't I don't even have to think about the follow up moves, which is not necessarily good because you don't have that kind of indicator in game, right? Yes. So it's hard to know. 
and it's also yeah, against yeah. the uh, the bots that aren't cut to go, like the calibrated rank ones that some people like playing against. Uh-huh. They will they will also make mistakes. So if you know you've made a mistake and the bot just plays locally, and you go, well, that was not the right point, so let me look somewhere else. Whereas normally you might play low, keep playing locally because there's something going mm-hmm. on. Uh, yeah. So yeah. it leaks it yeah. leaks information. So that's definitely that. Yeah, it leaks information definitely. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, I'll try I'll try out that uh, teaching mode or whatever. Um, and see how it goes. Yeah. So um, let me just go on with this game for a little bit. I just want to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I would say like the yellow moves. That's something I would focus on. I think it's not my. I think oh, it, this is showing wrong. But white is my student, so I, I don't think it matters if black makes that big of a mistake. But yeah, mm-hmm. I, I would say if if I were looking at this, I'd be like okay. Um, like, I think what I would do, first of all, like, I would review it by myself first and be like, oh, like, what do I think were the bad moves? And mm-hmm. this, to me, isn't, like, horrible, but I, I assume here, like, if you just, this is, uh, like, I have a couple of things that I think are better moves, probably just going off of my own uh, intuition here. I think probably extends fine here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that seems pretty good. And then, like, aside from that, I think Tanuking anywhere would be also fine. So, like, playing something like this. Yeah, so mm-hmm. this is not optimal, but it's probably, like, minus a point. So, um, this is top move. And then this is probably, like, minus two or three points. Well, I mean, just look. I don't really... Uh, so it's minus two. Yeah, okay. Minus 1.7. Yeah, so, I mean, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um. I guess this move is almost as bad, actually, <laughs> but it's one point. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, so um, I would say, like, for him, like, try to f- focus on, like, the yellow ones or, like, orange ones. And then in the opening, though, I think I think what's, like, I guess another negative of, like, a bot is that, like, there's so anything, you can play anything at the beginning and it'd be fine. So it's really hard for people to, like, I guess, stick to one style or you know, one way of playing, I guess, <laughs> or their own way of playing. Um, because, I don't know, I think as a human intuitively, like, oh, I'm so weak on this left side. Look, white has, like, let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven white stones on this left side. Now I only have two, mm. right? Or you can think about it that way. And like, oh, I really need to play over here. But in actuality, like, it's, like, this kind of stuff is, the boss are like, yeah, you can sacrifice this, or you can leave it. You can leave this Tanuki, and if they play here, you can still live. <laughs> Which, <laughs> I mean, if you're good enough, yes. But um, as a human, it, it feels sometimes um, a little a little weird just to leave stuff like this sitting around. Um, so that's, I guess, that's another aspect of it. Um, but yeah, so let me just see if there's any, like, really bad moves that show up. <laughs> I'm sure they'll happen in a second. I just need to uh, get to it. Oh, yeah, there we okay. go. So here, here, here we go. Yeah. So I mean, both like I guess White probably lost a couple points with this, but we don't have to focus too much on this. Yeah. So this would be one of them, and I think um, I would just ask them, right? Like I'd probably turn. I would just ask them first of all, like, okay, we've turned this off for now, and then we say, okay, like, what are some other moves you can play here? Um, and then, like, right, so I'd, I'd ask them that. And then I'd say, like, get, get your, like, top two or top three choices in this area. So with this thing turned off, right? So maybe, I, I think I know what the best move is. It's probably this. Um, but we'll, we'll go back to that. So I'll be like, okay, so what, what are, like, three possible moves you can play here? Right, so I'd say, or I guess you could say four. Four is, like, Tanuki and play here, right? Okay, mm-hmm. so that's, that's, that's one option. But let's just say locally. Try to come up with, like, two or three moves other than this, right? So assuming this is bad. So you could try something like this, that's one, All right? I don't think this is as, I don't think this is probably that good, but, and then this is probably two, and then this is probably three. And then I'd ask them like, w- which one they think is better and why, and et cetera, right? So, I mean, I can briefly explain this, but I think here in this circumstance, like why will extend back. And then if you cut it off, then why has a really nice base here. Yeah, so, it doesn't matter that um, you cut it off, right? Yeah, so it doesn't matter that you cut it off. Um, and then playing this is just is really bad because <laughs> I think if, if White plays here, it's it's pretty much the same. It's pretty much the same thing, except he has a bigger base, <laughs> and he can still <laughs> connect under if he wants to later, right? Yeah. Um, and something like this is pretty small. 
because white still has a nice base here. So uh, that would be my logic. And then after after like talking about it or trying to figure it out, you know, talking to yourself or if you have a teacher at the time uh, that's around, and then you can turn this back on, and then you can try those moves and see how. And then oh yeah, turn this on too over here, the win rate thing and see right. Okay, so how bad was this? This was minus five points, right? So you can try all the other ones. Okay, so how bad is this? Okay, well this is not as bad. It's only minus two point six. Then you can. You know, try to play one of the variations out, like maybe something like this. That would be one of the variations, right? So, mm -hmm. I mean, black lost like two points here. It's not not that bad, but then you can try something else. You can try this too. Well, oh, this is this is probably the best move. Um, I mean, there could be better ones, but it seems like this one you only lose point four points. And then if, if mean, white does something like this, yeah, yeah, the point four that could be noise because the yeah, it could be noise. Yeah. It's compared between the deeper search and the previous one. So it could be the best move and mm -hmm. lose some points. It's just how these AIs work. It's Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's fine. Um, so yeah, maybe something like this would happen if you if you clamped. Mm -hmm. um, and then, then afterwards, if you really want to look at the top move, right, you just go back and then turn this thing on. <laughs> and it says, OK, yeah, one of the top moves. Like, oh, yeah, and this one. We forgot to talk about this one. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't, I personally thought this would be, oh uh, yeah, so you just don't extend, you play this, yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> if you play this, it's, it's yeah, it's it's pretty slightly better for white, but you just play this, and it mm -hmm. says white to new keys, yeah. I mean, you could also follow up here, but there's not really a need. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So yeah, that, that's what I would say for these, like, really bad, like, minus fives. <laughs> um, but I guess minus five isn't even that bad. Oh, okay, this is, how much is this? This is minus three. That makes sense. I mean, I can try to explain this as well, just briefly. But right, if you just look at this like board situation right now, uh, you can assume this white group on the sides alive or close to alive, right? And it, it's it much more urgent places to, to play. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like you could play something like this. You could play something like this. These are all fine. But this is like, to me, I would intuitively think this is worse <laughs> than like minus three points because it's like. It almost seems like it's like two or three point go tape, but I think the reason why it's not entirely is because if if White leaves this group later, right, you can play moves like this and then really start attacking it. So it's not like this group is uh, is entirely alive. Mm -hmm. So it, it you can still take advantage of it, which is why it's not like atrocious. But it's still it's still to me, I would definitely uh, definitely get on Black's case about playing this move. I think it's terrible, even though it's only minus three points. I think it's like worse. Like, at least subjectively to me, than this, even though this was minus five points. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I would say that. And then, and then I would say, yeah, like, look, and then we do the same thing as we did before, figure out like what, what other moves are better in this situation. And then I turn on the top moves. So I think this is probably the best or similar to the best. Oh, actually, it's minus two points. That's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> what about this? Oh, this is even worse. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I would probably play this, which is minus two points, I guess. But um, mm -hmm. then I'd be like, okay, let's turn on, see what's... Uh, okay, so it uh, thinks this top left is the most urgent. This is minus 1.2 points. Okay, so mm -hmm. this is fine. But yeah, I guess it's saying this is bigger, so... Yeah, whatever yeah. this um, creates a mistake, and I'm like, I'm not sure. I sometimes do the all move thing, which is extremely colorful, but it, it uh -huh. often really hits home, like, okay, you... You had a hundred places to play that were better than the move you did. Yeah. <laughs> as, long, as long as next time you play one of those hundred, you've improved. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure there'll be like a lot, like there'll be more mistakes in this game if I remember correctly. I, I haven't looked at this in a while, but yeah, okay. So this move, yeah. So this is what minus three points. Mm -hmm. Oh, but we we shouldn't look at this. Yeah, that's right. We should keep this off when we're doing this. <laughs> Yeah, so this is this is minus three points, and um, let's see actually what happened here. Oh, not just Tanuki. That's actually pretty smart. That's probably the best move here. Um, but yeah, it's I think it's about like this move is probably at least for like people that are around his level, it's hard to tell why this is like a bad move, I guess. And so I'd probably fi focus on this. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I guess that's another thing. Um, I'd look at the game, and then I would try to figure out places where I think for his skill level or whatever the, the my my student's skill level is like what what the most important part is like that they can improve upon because i guess to me right like if we go back a bit i personally thought this move was like really really bad 
um, for somebody like around black skill level, assuming they're like similar to my student, which is about which is about correct in this case. So I, I really focus on like one or two key aspects of the game uh, mm -hmm. if I'm reviewing it with them, where I really thought like they they made a huge mistake, even if like objectively from the pot, it's not like super bad. Um, from like a human perspective, I try to focus on moves that um, to me really pop out that are really, really bad. <laughs> like in this case, mm -hmm. this move and um, in this case as well for, for White especially, it's this is not like something I think for him that he would intuitive, intuitively think is a bad move, um, which is why I think it's important to focus on, especially to focus on this one. Because it's not so clear cut, right? If, to me, mm -hmm. you look at this and you say, oh, yeah, like, you know, Black tries to out here. Right? Oh, this is this is probably, like, the logic. Like, I, mm -hmm. I just, like, separate this, and it's okay. Um, and, like, why why that's not the correct reasoning here. So, I mean, what, what happened here? Yeah, so it's only up two points now. What, what was it before this? Ten points. Yeah. So you lost eight points from that, even though it looks so good. <laughs> um, which is why I think it's it's important to focus on this kind of stuff. Um, and, and why, and, and to me, I think, yeah, like up to this point, this would be like the really one of the biggest major, um, major things to look at. So, yeah, I guess, uh, taking a bit of my, uh, skill and I don't want to say expertise, but <laughs> my teaching abilities and applying it in a situation like this, where I look and I say, okay, where, where is like that? Where's one of the, the key points in the game to focus on? That'd be one of them. Um, mm -hmm. a bit more subjective for me to figure out. Yeah, it's like this is just <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, yeah, trying. I think trying a bit too hard to kill this. This would be my uh, would be my thought because it's it just seems like yeah, this is uh, <laughs> this is a bit hard to kill if you if you really want to live here. I think I don't know. This is probably oh, this is minus two points. But this would, oh, oh, it's only yellow. Okay, it's not that bad. Yeah, so I mean, my thought process is like, yeah, you just fix this cut, and then you can just honey out. Mm -hmm. And this isn't going to die. So it's, it seems a bit tough to kill this, which is why here you probably just, like, fix on the outside somewhere. Yes, yeah. but it's, it's a very it's human mm -hmm. kind of thought, right? Like, I spent so many yeah. moves trying to surround this. Now I have to mm -hmm. finish the job. Yeah. yeah, but I think actually here I would focus on this actually a lot as well because... Um, mm -hmm. I personally don't think I personally think he should have been able to see something like this because um at least at his level I tell him to try to count pretty often. And although it's a bit difficult to count right now, I would say um like you can just read it as like you can try to count like in your head if you played like this, who's winning mm -hmm. and right. Like you'd probably get to a similar I I I would say twenty seems like <laughs> a bit more than I had anticipate for this situation, but um I would say, yeah, White's definitely had playing like this. So, uh, because, yeah, if, I mean, if you look back at the beginning here, right? Um, it wasn't like, it wasn't like this top side was was White's points, and it wasn't like, uh, it wasn't like 100% clear, clear cut. But at the end mm -hmm. of that sequence, um, this whole thing was dead. <laughs> so, yes. Or it could have been dead. Mm -hmm. Right. So, yes. um, I yeah, guess so I'd the, say, uh... The uh, the play out till end thing is also what I added recently to to try to uh, clarify for at least lower level players because I I can't mm -hmm. count this board right but uh, it mm -hmm. kind of gives you an idea of like okay what is invadable what was I too optimistic about mm -hmm. yep. although it, it's yep. so complicated yeah yeah I mean that's definitely helpful yeah so I think but yeah, like I don't know to me even if you're like unless you're losing terribly, like it's un unwinnable and you have to kill this, I would never try playing this because it just, to me, it seems like there's too many too many cut points on the outside um, mm. for Black to take advantage of. Um, that At least, yeah. I think he should have been able to see something like this, so I, I, that's why I would focus on this as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I have no clue what Black's <laughs> doing here. but <laughs> So it looks like White's up 30 points, but somehow this game, if you look at the score graph, it got a little crazy. Right, it looks like Black <laughs> almost won at the end, or was winning, or something. So, yeah, I, I don't really know what's happening here. So, did this just die? Oh my God, this just died. <laughs> okay, this is maybe not that good of a game to look at, but uh, well, actually, maybe it is a good game to look at because it's, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say up to this point, he's like, yeah, playing very well. He's up forty points after what is this, a hundred moves? <laughs> this is uh, yeah. So he's playing pretty well. Um. 
Yeah, so he just kills this. Okay, and then I don't know what white's or what black's trying to do, trying to kill it. Yeah, so I'd say up to this up to this point, there's not much to look at actually for white because white. Well, I think black just played pretty poorly. So if there's something really bad, oh, <laughs> minus twenty points. <laughs> that that so, is yeah, that this is would be something. like a pass is minus fifteen mm -hmm. or something like. Uh... Yeah, exactly. It's worse than a pass. That's how bad this is. Yeah. Yeah, so I would say okay. I would tell him. First of all, I would just have like the bot, like I'd have this thing off. And then I'd say, like, okay, this move is atrocious. And then, like, tell me why. And then, um, like, what else would you play if you had a second chance? Mm -hmm. So I think the, the reasoning here is that you're trying way too hard to kill this group. Um, and, and with this cut point still here. So, like, even. Like even just fixing this, which seems really slow, is only minus like two points. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, whereas this is minus twenty, so yeah, it is that bad. So yeah, I would say here you're winning by a lot. There's no need to force things. Just like make sure you're alive, connected. I yeah, and like okay, this is minus five point seven. So that's pretty bad. So maybe it's saying that you can kill this. Then that's my that's my thinking here. I think so. It's the life. That's why it's minus twenty. But yeah. uh, maybe Katago will go crazy when trying to kill it. And maybe white scores. Yeah, yeah I actually think that must be it then, because if if this is minus five point seven, and this is only minus two point seven, that 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 tells me that because this this kind of uh helps with the life and death over here with killing, so that means you must be able to kill this. So, yeah, because even something normal like this is minus fourteen points. Yeah, so that means you must be able to kill this, which means, um, yeah, I guess <laughs> maybe this is not something I would tell him to focus on then, because. In my opinion, I think like even this is minus twenty or this is minus thirteen points. I wouldn't say this is a bad move, or I wouldn't say this is a bad move because I'm saying like yeah, at this point you're winning by fifty points. Does it really matter if you're winning by hundred points or fifty points? Not really. I think it's more important just to win. Mm -hmm. um, if it was a close game, that'd be a different matter. But I think when you're winning, it's it's best just to be you know safe, especially when you're winning by this much. So. I actually wouldn't agree with the bot in this case of trying to kill it or whatever, whatever might be the best move. Yeah. So it's saying, yeah, try to kill this. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's one thing. That's another thing as well. I think people maybe sometimes get lost in like trying to be perfect everywhere. And mm -hmm. I think in this case, it'd be fine. I, I would, I would applaud him if he played something like this, even though it's minus six points. That makes so. sense. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'm sure it got worse later because uh, this, uh, <laughs> this looks like a huge throw. Oh, okay, I can see. I can see it already. Um, oh my. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think probably what both sides missed, or like semi-missed, is that at this point it says white's still winning, but like to me it seems like this middle white group isn't alive yet. <laughs> mm-hmm. So if black did something like this, or whoops. So right now, if black did something like this and white connected this and then did this, I'd be pretty concerned as white. <laughs> like I don't, you have to somehow live in the middle here with when you have zero eyes to begin with, which seems, yeah, kind of difficult. I guess, I don't even know. I guess I <laughs> hit, hit L. Doesn't even see that straightforward how to live here to me. Click analysis. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I could do it, but uh, yeah. let's see. I I wouldn't tell I wouldn't tell him to do this at this point because I would just tell him to play against me here and try to live. I don't know. Even if I played against myself, I'm not too sure how I'd live this. Like, would something like this work? Mm, minus six. <laughs> so that means there must be something here. Okay, and I just cut. Oh, cut doesn't work. That means you must be able to live this way. Yeah. So I don't know. Even to me, this this is pretty complicated. I'm not too sure. Um, what the best way to okay so this seems like the best way to cut this oh i see why because this bottom group isn't alive yet sorry I'm getting a little nitty-gritty but um <laughs> yes. the point is yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't feel too comfortable as white to live this so which is why i think um i think instead of playing like stuff like this like this is this kind of stuff it just like to me doesn't make much sense it's like okay you're winning by 30 points if you just make sure you're alive like just play something like this. <laughs> Make sure you're connected. And that looks like probably one of the top moves here anyways, just live. Uh, you live, you're winning by like 30 points. It's unlosable at this point. 
I guess you're forcing like trying Black to, like, to uh, fix this. Yeah. 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 And like, like stuff like this is like, yeah, okay. If you're winning by 30 points, what's the point in like trying to live in this corner? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> yeah. So I, I would probably focus on that as well. Um, but I'm sure it gets worse. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Looks like White's doing pretty well here on 50 points. I'm curious how, uh, how he almost lost though. Okay. So let's see here. A minus 41 point move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what is this saying? This is probably saying that um, if Black... So what did Black do? He connected? Yeah, okay. So it's probably saying here... I mean, if you had the, if you had the win rate showing, you'd probably try, be able to figure out, okay, I should be able to, like, kill this group or connect or something. Like, give up... Like, play something here, give up this top side, and uh, live here. Oh, okay, let's see. I mean, this is double Atari, which seems pretty nice. So probably here, you can probably cut this off in Sente or something. Okay, this is not, this does, this isn't right. Okay, so what if it is something like this? Okay, so yeah, the double Atari, which seems like the most intuitive one, is, is looks like the best move here. Mm -hmm. Probably reasoning is that, like, if white connects this and lives, then you just take this. Oh, this does not kill it. So I guess you take this one. Huh. Yeah, well, let's see. <laughs> Turn this on real quick. Oh, and then you take... Is that really that big of a difference? How is that a 10-point difference? What? <laughs> Wait, that makes no sense. That is so weird. I don't... Oh, oh, wait. Uh, is it because... Oh, it's because of the life and death here, maybe? this group oh okay i kind of see it okay okay sorry sorry <laughs> once again i'm getting a little uh mm. a little over analyzing but but yeah like stuff like this um i'll just focus on like i don't really think the life and death is that big of a deal like i think i wouldn't really like tell my student to be like oh yeah like you messed up the life and death here like try figuring it out because i don't know that kind of stuff is like even if you figure it out locally right for this one specific game like whether it carries over to the other game is, is kind of difficult to figure out right yeah um oh. And so one, I think one, what's better. Mm -hmm. One issue that the, these tools have is that if you miss an exchange, like both players ignore it, then all your moves are bad, right? <laughs> yep, yep. This guy, yeah. top right, top right, top right, top right. So, yes, yep. but in the absence of that, please. <laughs> yeah, how, how are things going? Exactly, yeah, that's a good point, yeah. Yeah, but I would say, like, I wouldn't actually focus too much on this spot because I think both of them were in time trouble, if I remember correctly, at this point. So it's 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 normal that they mess up life and death. And this is actually relatively complicated. Like, you throw me in here, I, I did just wake up, and <laughs> I haven't looked at the situation very well. But, you know, it'd still take me, like, probably 30 seconds or whatever to seriously contemplate to, to figure out, like, what's the best move here. So, and I think they're both in Bioyomi, which is, like, 30 sec five periods of 30 seconds or something. So I don't yeah. really expect them to be able to play, like, the best move here. So it's actually okay if, if they have like a minus 50 point move or whatever, because <laughs> I don't really think that's a big deal here. Um, so I, mean, I think it's just it really happens to life and death, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, the life and death isn't that important. I just tell them if, if they die too much in game, <laughs> just like go go do some go problems. <laughs> that's, that's all I would say. Like there's no need to overanalyze like specific situations. I think that's what I mainly use it for. Mm -hmm. um for teaching wise and then i, I want to add um yeah before we go on to the next topic or whatever maybe it covers one of the topics but i think personally um yeah i think it's better as a tool to like analyze your own games i'd say like as a teacher like i use it pretty rarely actually when i'm teaching them i just like briefly look at it just to make sure i'm not missing anything but i think as a as like a person playing and trying to prove yourself I think it's better to like use it to analyze your own games. All right, so this was one of the examples I had, which is one okay. of my own. It's one of my own games. I'm black, and cool. this is this is what how I would use it at, at a lower level. So I made this move. Okay. And it's like that's mm -hmm. a terrible move. That's a minus five point move. And it's because I okay. white gets his Atari, and then and so and so like things go mm -hmm. bad. Okay, I I see it gets bad. You should do this cross cut, and I'm just like, well. That's not a move that I would think of, right? Mm -hmm. uh, probably next game, I would still be terrified to play this move. It's like, okay, what, what actually happens here? Well, 
<laughs> something and you can look at some variations but overall i kind of go like this is a bit scary and complicated so so okay, actually let's... yeah go ahead so like let's go back and say okay like just find some alternatives it's like what is locally a thing okay i can descend here and white can connect and okay i can understand this so I found mm. a, I've made a minus two point move instead of a minus five point move. Mm -hmm. But at least I kind of understand it and I'm comfortable with the I can read out some of the follow ups. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, yeah, so I would say Yeah, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, I, I this is actually a very interesting position because I would say like to me the cross cut's natural, but and I, I wanna explain why. I, I would say the reason is like that's actually a really common shape where you have like uh, like a one space jump between your stones and then white hanes and you cut. And I think, so I think that's like the difference between like a human and like a robot teacher is that um, like, I can go on to like show you different examples of where like situationally, this would be a good, good place to play. Like, you know, I would set up like a different part of the board where this mm -hmm. kind of stuff is pretty common. Like there's actually, I can think of off the top of my head, like a couple of like more or less Joseki variations that lead to something like this. Mm -hmm. So if you knew those Josekis or, you, or you've played those, I guess, openings before, you would probably see this type of move, right? But but if if you didn't if you didn't see that, then yes, I can understand why it seems very complicated and like this is risky. So, and I think that's the difference, right? If you're if you're learning on your own and you see something like this, you're like, wow, mm -hmm. like I don't know if I would play this, you know, next time, which yes. is that totally understandable. But you know, if I explain to you like, you know, why it's a good move, then show you other situations where it happens, then you probably feel much more comfortable. So yeah, that's, uh, that's another thing I wanted to point out. <laughs> but I think there's, there's still situations where I'm like, okay, I don't know if this is the situation. It's I can't read it out, but at least I can erase this kind of move from my repertoire because yes. Yes, I can yes, recognize, yeah. okay, this Atari is too painful. That's it. Prevent that mm. Atari is better than that. And of course the cross cut is something to try to read out, but to follow this and just hope for the best because I could die here with everything. I, I'm totally capable yeah, of doing yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's uh, understandable. So, understandable. So, oh, yeah. Uh, this is maybe an interesting one. It's a feature I just added the uh, quite recently. Generate position. So I hmm. want to be 67 points ahead by move 100. Okay. Cool. And white will just throw. That's funny. <laughs> um, I mean, it's it's quite difficult to generate a realistic game that ends up like you want it. But uh, yeah, it tries its best. And, and I then, mean, this is a good way of comparing. <laughs> and then the, yeah. uh, the the fun thing, the fun starts where you oh, it's almost there, sixty-two point two, so it's got close enough. Okay, you say I'm I'm black now, and I go away. Top moves. And uh, okay, or or even I'll keep just trying to beat see it. How embarrassing! <laughs> okay, okay, play it. And yeah, it's, it's quite amazing how few moves I need to get back to uh, to even. <laughs> that's very cool. That's I like that. That's a uh, that's an interesting, um, definitely very interesting. Feature it came from uh, it came from a ID from a book that somebody recommended: Chess for Zebras. Huh. Apparently, chess players do this. They take uneven positions and they play against strong bots to see. Huh. Okay, it's you're risky. ahead. You're ahead. Close the game from end game. Yeah, how to how to from middle game. Yeah. No, that's that's uh, cool. I like that. That's very smart. It's an interesting but, way of doing it. But Katago is scary. Katago is very scary for for someone at my level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's strong. I think it's very strong. But I mean, sixty-seven points is a lot to be ahead by. So. It's... Oh, it's a lot. Yeah, it's definitely a lot. <laughs> it's it's, uh, it's quite fun. So let's see what I... Oh, yeah. What do you think about playing bots versus people? I think that's a... Um, well, I guess that's a pretty open-ended question. I think... Mm -hmm. um, I think I can tell if somebody's, like, botting, but that, that's maybe a not, not really an aspect of it. I mean, um, for, but... for practice. Like, if I... I for want practice. To oh, for practice, yeah. Uh, well... I'd say the main thing is you can't get too flustered or too mad when you play it because like if you play it at a hand like like for example if I play it like with two stones or even like I can't mm -hmm. win. So it's it's a bit frustrating. I feel like if you're playing against people 
you always feel like, oh, like, you know, this person's like maybe a stone or two stronger than me, but you always feel like you have a chance of winning. Mm. Right. But for this thing, right. Objectively, maybe it's only like three or whatever, four stones stronger. But like, and if I played somebody else three or four stones strong, like I, how should I put it? If I played like the best player in the world, I would at least have a chance of winning once in like a fucking blue moon, right? Obviously, <laughs> very, very rarely, um, but maybe like one in a thousand and one in 10,000 time, times, but there's a chance, right? And I think that chance makes, is like motivation in a sense, right? You feel like, oh, there is a chance that I can win, right? Against him. Yes. But if, if I play against the bot, there's no chance I can beat him. So but, I think I mean, that to me is a little. Yeah, that's yeah. weaker buff. That's weaker buff other than. Uh, there the are. Pieces. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. At least I, I, I'm just like, I said, I'll just talk about Kata Go or, for mm-hmm. this segment because I just feel like, yeah, to me, it, it was a little frustrating at the start, like when I played it. Like, I would try to do this thing where I would like play 50 moves against it and try not and try to have like a 30% win rate or better after 50 mm-hmm. moves. And it took me like 30 games or something just to get like lucky once, not not like not to have lost like a point or two just in the opening, right? Yeah. And that to me is just like super like at the time it was like really frustrating. It just like it felt like wow, like you can never beat this thing. It's just like it's pretty much gotta go. And like like what's the point in playing this? It just it's just a little frustrating as a human, I think. Mm-hmm. That, but other than that, I mean, once you get past that, and you realize like yeah, whatever, I can never beat this thing. Um, it just I think it's very helpful to play against it, and. And I don't know, I think, I think, I mean, I, I watch a lot of the pro games in my free time because um, I think it's pretty entertaining. I think the, like, line between, like, like, humans are always improving. So it's, it's, it took me, it feels like if I'm playing against, like, Kata Bot um, versus if I'm playing against, like, a, a top human player, mm-hmm. it, it's, like, pretty similar now, I feel like, actually. Like, I can't really, like, feel that big of a difference. Um, so... I just think, yeah, I think it's a great tool. And yeah, as long as you get past like the whole, I can never beat this thing, like at mm-hmm. a even handicap or whatever, two stone handicap, three stone handicap um, type of like mentality, then um, then yeah, I think it's totally fine to play against it. Maybe maybe this is just something I have, but I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'm too like, too, too, uh, too focused on the ego part of it or whatever. But mm-hmm. um, I mean, I definitely yeah. get the, the ego. Like I've, created weaker bots right so i've played this simple style thing a lot and i know i know what it does right i programmed it i programmed to make weak overly cautious moves and Mm -hmm. it beats it beats me like consistently (laughs) 